All right, here's our review for our unit four test for algebra two. Okay, so the equation x squared is changed to negative x squared. Now you can graph in your calculator. Okay. Uh, that's one way to do it. Uh, you should know that if the number in front, if A is negative, that is what we call a reflection. Across the x-axis. <clears throat> All right, so now... This time, A is 3 fourths. If A is less than 1, it is a vertical compression. This stuff is found in unit 4.1 notes. <clears throat> okay, now, if you remember, the format... Okay... So H is from left to right, and it's a lie. And then K is up and down, and it's not a lie. So right here, this minus 7, we know it's a lie. It's really plus 7, so it's going to be right 7. And then that plus 12 is up 12. All right, on this graph, you want to give me the vertex. Okay, so I see the vertex is right here at negative 4, positive 2. And since it's at the top of a hill, that's a maximum. X-intercepts. So we have an X-intercept here at negative 5. And one here at negative three, so negative five comma zero and negative three comma zero. Okay. Now for the vertex form, remember it's y equals a x minus h squared plus k. So first we need to figure out a. Okay. So remember. A is the rise over 1. So from this vertex, to get over 1, it goes down 2 over 1. Down is negative, and that was 2 over 1, which is just negative 2. So right here, this A value is going to be negative 2. And then what we're going to do is take this vertex, remember, insiders lie, so the opposite of this h value, this is hk. The opposite of negative 4 is plus 4, and the opposite of, or not the opposite, not a lie, k is 2, so plus 2. Okay. So... Make sure you got that down right. You got to know A, H, and K. Okay, now we want to sketch the graph. Okay, now again, you can always graph this and then control T to get some points to plot on the table. Okay, uh, but I can see that the vertex is at negative two, negative three, right? So remember, this is a lie. So the vertex is really negative 2, negative 3. So negative 2, negative 3 is right here. And notice the A value, it's not negative, it's not 
expressed, it's not compressed. If there's no number in front of that parentheses, then it's just a regular parabola. Up one, over one, up one, over one. If you plot points in your, uh, I mean, if you graph it and hit control T, you're going to get these other points too, okay? Cool. So my axis of symmetry is X equals H, and remember, H is a lie, so instead of plus 2, it's negative 2, this number right here. And then this is at the bottom of a U, so that's a minimum. Cool. All right, now we want to convert this into vertex form. So this is what we were doing in 4.3. Okay, so the first thing we need to know is what's A, B, and C, okay? A, B, C. So A is in front of X squared. If there is no number here, then it's supposed to be a 1. Okay. B is in front of X, so it's not just 8, but it's negative 8. Now, C. If there's no number here, okay, that's a uh, implied 0, okay? Okay, so first thing we want to do to find X, it's, if you remember the formula, negative B over 2A. Now, negative b is the opposite of this b, so it's 8, positive 8, over 2 times a, which is just 1. 2 times 1 is 2, so what is 8 divided by 2? 4. Okay, that's my h. h is 4. Now, I'm going to take that original equation and replace every x with a 4. So right here, the first thing I see is x squared, so that's parentheses 4 squared, minus 8. And then instead of x, I'm going to put parentheses 4. I don't have to put the plus 0 because that's not going to add anything to it, okay? Now, it's... Easy to just type this in in one step on your calculator. So I'm going to type in this, parentheses 4 squared, minus sign 8, parentheses 4. Please be careful with minus and negative signs, okay? That gives me negative 16. Y'all see that right here? I got negative 16. So that is going to be my k value. So all I need is A, H, and K to do this. So here's my vertex form, A, X, minus H squared, plus K. Pen is really messing up. Okay. So, what is my A value? 1. So, Y equals 1. Okay, X. Now, minus H is the opposite of H, right? Insiders lie. So, what's the lie? If H is positive 4, it's going to be a minus 4 squared, and then plus k, my k value here is negative 16, so minus 16. Okay, so that's it. Usually you don't see that one there. Cool. Same thing on number 7. Okay. Now if there's no number here, there's a 1. Let's see if I can 
get this to not glitch on me. A is 1, B is 6, C is 11. X equals negative B over 2A. So negative B, what's the opposite of this B value? Positive 6 becomes a negative 6 over 2 times A, 2 times 1. The negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. That's my H. And now I'm going to plug in my H, my negative 3, where I see X right here and right here. So Y equals... X squared is negative 3 in parentheses squared plus 6X. Instead of X, I put negative 3 in parentheses plus 11. You can type all that in your calculator in one step. Negative 3 squared plus 6, negative 3 plus 11 gives me 2. And that is my k value. So again, I'm plugging it into this vertex form. A is a 1, so I don't have to write it. X, the opposite of H, the opposite of this negative 3, is positive 3 and then k is 2 so plus 2 all right so we get our final answers here and rate what's the equation of axis of symmetry for the following quadratic okay now you can graph control T that will get the vertex with X equals H of the vertex. Let's let's try that. So new document, don't save number two X squared plus ten x minus sine 14. Control, sorry, uh, not control T, my bad. <laughs> Menu 5, 1. Menu 5, 1. Keep going to that left until you get to that vertex. Now the minimum is negative five, negative thirty-nine. Okay, so the work so negative five, negative thirty-nine is the vertex. So all I care about is the x value. So for the axis of symmetry, it's x equals, and the x value is negative five. That's it. Okay. You know it'd be a vertical line going straight up and down through this vertex at that x value. All right, let's write an equation of a quadratic. We just did this yesterday. Okay, menu 416. Once you go to spreadsheets, right? Lists and spreadsheets. So I go new document, don't save, number four. X and Y have to go on top, okay? I type this in. Keep typing it all the way in. Menu 4, 1, 6 says quadratic. X is X, Y is Y. You have to do X and Y on the top. It's going to give you an A, B, and a C. Please remember, your standard form is A, X squared, plus B, X, plus C. 
So we know A, B, and C. A is negative 4 on the graph in calculator. Negative, B is negative 10. C is 1. So Y equals negative 4X squared minus 10X plus 1. A, B, C. Cool. Okay, if I want x-intercepts of this, I'm going to graph it in my calculator and do menu 5, 1 and trace it from left to right. New document, don't save, go to a graph, x squared minus 3, x minus 4, these are all minus signs. Okay, and then I'm going to do menu 5, 1. If I go to the left, it'll say my 0 is negative one zero that's not it because if you go all the way to the you go to the right you get another zero which is a root which is an x intercept that's one zero okay same thing here graph menu five one okay so if I change my graph to 3x squared plus 9x plus 6, menu 5, 1. I have a 0 at negative 1, 0, and negative 2, 0. Okay. So again, graph, menu 5, 1, trace it left to right when it looks for the zeros. Another word for x-intercept is zeros, okay? One more problem. Write the vertex form. Whoa. All right. So the vertex form, if you remember, is a x minus h squared plus k. So first I need to find the vertex right here. Is that negative 4, negative 5? Uh, we just got to remember that h is a lie. And now I need to find a. a is a rise over 1. So before it goes over 1 here, it rises 3 over 1, which is just 3. So A equals 3, H and K are here. So you can plug it in to A. So Y equals 3, X. H is a lie on the inside, so the opposite of negative 4 is plus 4 squared. And plus k, the regular k is minus 5. Okay. This is at the bottom, so it's a min. And then axis is always x equals. And the x value of the vertex is negative 4. All right, so make sure you study this and you're ready for your test tomorrow.